Hello Uganda, my name is Julia Nachase. I am personally passionate about bringing change to my community in a bit to fulfill my ambition during this COVID-19 pandemic crisis. I've gathered a video documentation where youths, including students and working class youth, give their views about how the crisis is treating them, how it has affected their daily life, the measures they are using to combat the challenges first, and also how they expect the government and NGOs to support them so as to overcome the challenges brought about by this pandemic. Thank you so much. Enjoy my video. Stay safe, you can. Hello, everyone. My name is Kagaki Ran, and I study from Sako Lokaga Primary School, Mengo. I'm here to speak about the way coronavirus has affected me. At school, I miss playing with my friends, I miss my teachers, and our parents paid a lot of school fees. That school fees has been wasted because of coronavirus, and at school we had elections. I passed through for the state minister, head lower, and we had to swear in on the 27th of March, which was, which was also my birthday. All that we did not do it the way it was planned, and I really miss that day. Thank you. Now that we are at home, we receive homework from our teachers and our parents download that homework. We start from 8 a.m. up to 4 p.m. After doing that homework, I do some housework. After doing the housework, I get time to play with my sister, sometimes my mother. And I also watch my movies, my movies with my dad at night. And that's how we that's how we keep on it. I also want to thank the government for his excellency Kaguta Museveni for putting us under quarantine and and putting up the measures which have saved us from COVID nineteen. And I also thank the government for giving food to the people who need it. And I also request the government to encourage teachers to send more work from school to home so that we do not miss a lot from school. Dear Ugandans, stay safe, stay home. Thank you. My name is Damatini Fusil, a president of Students Council Chamber of College School and the Secretary of Women Affairs at the District Executive Committee, Kampala, and at the Uganda National Students Association. Uh, COVID-19 has brought about many effects to me as a student, and uh, one of them is uh, the online study and getting much also online which is not easily accessible uh, sometimes to me and to the majority of the students out there who don't have one so it is really a big challenge there is little time for academics because uh, there is also need to attend to domestic work at home this COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic will not only be a disadvantage to us at home, but it will also go an extra mile to schools, whereby some uh, students won't make it back to school. Some of their parents have lost jobs, so they can't really get for them school fees. So it will cause many not to come back at school. Then segregation among students due to the fear, since they don't know the colleague status. So there will be this segregation among students. At I don't know your status, maybe you have a disease, so I should keep a distance. One comes for consultation, then uh, they will see them as, you know, strangers. So the gap, the bondage will be broken. Then the syllabus coverage. We may, it, it is actually, it is really affected. Some schools won't be able to finish, and if they push, they may finish, but with a very high speed, which may cause some people not to recipient and everything that is taught due to the, to the speed that teachers will be using in order to cover up the, the syllabus. I would like to encourage all students to stay strong and follow the guidelines given unto us by the government. Thank you very much. Stay safe. God bless you all. Hi, uh, my name is Agatha and I'm the CEO of KK Uganda. 
So, um, as a business person, um, COVID-19 has had its effect on me as a person and as a business. And um, including the reduction of sales that I do, um, which is also very hard for me to access some of the places where I buy my stuff from. So, I have to make like very many phone calls to be able to access all these things. Um, customers, it's very hard to reach the customers. Some are very far and the transport is a lot and you have to cover the transport at times yourself. So. It has brought a decline in some of, um, I think we have learned to have this kind of intimate relationship or honesty and with our customers so you're able to tell them, you know, I cannot do this, you're going to pay for your own transport or I'm going to cover half the transport costs or I don't have this so you have to choose this or this and this, you know. We have learned how to be honest with each other. Um, I want to thank the government because it has been able to provide food for some of our people Though some, some, some people have not received food, but I'm very grateful they're doing all they can. And to the health sector, oh my god, I am so grateful because you have done a lot. NGOs, government has come up to talk to people, sensitize people, the youth, everyone else about COVID-19. Yeah, and um, however, I think the government should, um, in my own perspective, the money that is being given to the MPs, what what, all the money should be invested in us, the youth, whose businesses are going down the drain. So they help us boost back our businesses to get back on. Because we don't have jobs, there is no employment in Uganda, so we are trying to create our own jobs. So that money should actually be invested in us and use that money to help our businesses grow because during this time, COVID-19 has done it's worse okay it would be better if we got that money and we invested it back in people or if we got money from somewhere else and invested it in the youth i want to thank each and everyone who has taken um who has done their part to help us during this crisis thank you so much to every other person every sector every person who is actually working hard to help us during this covid 19 crisis we are so grateful once again stay safe wash your hands and isolate yourself have a good day and have a good time. Hello Uganda, I'm Alitueda Juliet, 29 years old, a weather presenter working with Uganda National Meteorological Authority. In this situation of COVID-19, many of the youths have really been affected. Some have lost jobs, some are receiving half salaries or less, making it really hard for them to reach out for their bills, making their lives really hard. Some had taken up loans and now they're unable to pay these loans due to the current situation. As a youth, I would encourage my fellows maybe to continue working from home in case your job can allow you to do that. To do your work so that you can continue earning a living from home. Some could engage in farming, those who have where to do it from, in maybe short term growing crops like vegetables. This could help you earn an income and also to continue have something to eat. I thank the government and other NGOs which have come out to distribute food to different groups of people in our communities, most especially those in Wakiso and Kampala districts. They have given out food and other materials which could help them to go on during this situation. Also the messages which have been passed out on different media houses sensitizing people about COVID-19, washing hands, sanitizing all the time, and keeping away from big gatherings, that is social distancing. This has really helped us out as youths to continue having a knowledge of how to protect ourselves from this pandemic. Thank you, government. Thank you, NGOs and all the frontliners. Those are the doctors, the nurses in hospitals who are treating people who have been affected.